Season 10 Highlanders of Conqueror's Blade comes with a new heroic era large weapon flailing unit in the form of the Claymores. This unit sports large claymores that they charge in with and swing at enemies, so let's take a look at them. Disclaimers first, this information and footage was from the preview event for Season 10. Some things may have changed since then, so keep that in mind as we continue. With that out of the way, claymores are a 4 star heroic era shock troop. They will cost you 235 leadership to add them to your warband during Season 10, though that will increase after Season 10. There are 5 stages of challenges for claymores. Stage 1 gets you 20 unit medals and the 3 day contract. Stage 2, you get 140 unit medals. Stage 3, 20 unit medals and you unlock the unit. Stage 4, 30 more unit medals and the Wild Rover's Doctrine. This reduces the cooldown of Highland Charge and for freedom by 2 seconds. Stage 5, you get 30 more medals and the Avatar. Claymore sport 4 traits. For freedom. Each time a Claymore Warrior attacks and hits an enemy, all defenses are increased by 40 points, stackable up to 5 times. Fearless Heart. When a Claymore unit uses a skill other than for freedom, it will get a Heart of Bravery effect for 5 seconds. It will ignore an extra 10 damage. Every time it attacks, it will restore 150 health on itself and nearby allies, stackable up to 5 times. It also reduces melee damage taken by 20% for 2 seconds. This effect will become stronger when using for freedom, restoring 300 points of health and reducing melee damage taken by 35%. Highlanders. For the duration of Season 10, this unit's leadership cost is reduced. All Out Attack. Highland Warriors go all out on every attack. Highland Charge and Claymore Strike share a cooldown. After using For Freedom, the unit enters a weakened state in which movement speed and attack speed are reduced by 50%, damage dealt is reduced by 40%, and damage taken is reduced by 40%. Last 10 seconds. There are two formations that you can use. Dispersed. The unit spreads out a little to lessen the damage from ranged attacks. Column. A narrow formation effective for charging under enemy fire. Claymores have three unit orders. Highland Charge. The unit charges towards the target, inflicting damage to enemies along the way. With four freedom, the charge inflicts greater damage to blocking. After the charge ends, the unit gains the Fearless Heart effect. Claymore Strike. The warriors swing their sword, dealing damage to nearby enemies. With freedom of faith, enemies will be knocked back. The unit also obtains the Fearless Heart effect. For Freedom. The Claymores roar for freedom, empowering their other skills and unwavering heart for 15 seconds. They gain 40% damage reduction, 20% increased damage, and 2000 maximum health. Once the skill runs out, the Claymores are weakened for 10 seconds, reducing their movement and attack speed by 50%, damage by 40%, and increasing the damage they take by 40%. There are two possible veterancy lines for claymores, but before either line is a 3% increase to health. The top line focuses on damage. Some notable nodes are the cooldown reduction to Highland Charge and Claymore Strikes, Claymore Strike, Damage Increase, and Damage Dealt During or Freedom Increase. The bottom line focuses on survivability and defense. Some notable nodes are the defense increase, the damage reduction during the charge, during Courageous Heart, and against ranged damage, as well as the maximum health increase during For Freedom. Both lines look like they would be useful. During our testing, the top line beat the bottom, as well as generally performed better, though other creators have seen the opposite effect as well. As the unit acts like a shock troop though, I plan to run the top line. Looking at doctrines, there are not too many options, but my current loadout plan is the Slashing Doctrine, Siege Fighter Doctrine, Epic Assassination Doctrine, Epic Battle Line Doctrine, and their Wild Rovers Doctrine. These focus on their damage as well as cooldown reduction. You could swap in the Mobility Doctrine as well if you want that sprint. This unit was the one I managed to get the most testing for since it is the easiest to do 1v1 testing with, though I did not test as much as I wanted. Also thank you to Night Stalker Online and the Grand Shogun for help with testing. Check out Night Stalker Online's video to see these tests from other perspectives. Also keep in mind that this is a 1v1 test, not group testing, and we did not run any doctrines. Let's see how it went.
Claymores are a very interesting unit. I looked around at the other content creators testings and results as well and they seem like a very mixed bag. In our testing the Claymores lost to Axe Raiders but at the same time could almost be considered a trade. Some other creators tests show Claymores winning, some losing. This is similar with some other unit matchups as well. On first glance they seem like a heavy hitter that runs in and belts opponents but in reality they are not that hard of a heavy hitter. Therefore, freedom unit order gives them a large buff, but the debuff is extremely harsh when it hits. This means that if the unit has to stay engaged for a long while, they will have trouble once that debuff hits. Claymores are a unit that will require thought about how you engage, depending on who you are up against. Their initial charge is not very strong, with what power they have being in the disruption and synergy of using Claymore Strike and For Freedom with their traits. My plan on how to use Claymores comes down to helping allies on enemy engagements. This is a unit that I will shy away from engaging one on one versus another unit unless I know I will come out on top. Instead I will let an ally start an engagement and swoop in, leaving if the engagement looks like it is taking too long. I will run them more like a hit and run unit and as such I feel they will be a strong contender. I hope this video about Claymores got you excited about Season 10 Highlanders coming out on December 21st. If it did, please like the video and subscribe. That aside, until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.